friend, I'm Pat Sloan. I am here to tell you about Pat Sloan's Tantalizing Table Toppers book with CNT Publishing. I love to decorate um, my area, my space. I also love to give things to friends and family uh, and to decorate with. And toppers are a great project for that. Table runners and squares that can be put on top of a table are fabulous for switching out the look of a room, bringing in a color accent, and just really changing the vibe of things. And so what I'm going to do is take you through all 12 projects. We will look at them up close so that you can see uh, how they're made. And then I will also give you some little um, fun little facts and tips about each one. So let's dive right in. When I'm designing quilts, I like to have a bit of a story behind it. It always helps me with picking colors and picking designs. So Winter Bliss is all about the trips we took when I lived in Europe and we would go skiing in the winter in Austria. I wanted some sort of a warm, cozy, you know, after ski kind of feel. And so this quilt has, uh, I did two fabrics, it's very similar colors, so that you kept that strong coloration, but there's actually two fabrics in each of these uh, sections except for the small ones and that's one color of fabric and this is a great one for a class uh, it is super fun to do and get a stripe get an excellent stripe to use in here you cannot go wrong and that's an angled stripe so it really has a neat effect one year we were in St. Petersburg Florida uh, and this is called the flower stand. We found a farmer's market and as soon as we entered the farmer's market there was gigantic poppies. They were just so gorgeous and so I loved create, sort of recreating the feel of that and there's a fun sew and flips in the, to create the middle part uh, and so if you are looking for demos that would be a great block to demo sew and flip for everybody. Then the Italian cafe. Oh, you know, tiles. This is definitely, definitely inspired by tile work. And it's, it has a fun construction. There's actually a lot of ways you could construct this, but the way I did it is, uh, you know, with, with blocks, you're making like the same block and then you do a little like half repeat thing. So it is super fun to do and alternating those strong colors to get that feel. The fabric bundle inspired life is a picnic. The stars with the other double little stars of the friendships uh, in the cornerstone. But I like the shadowy effect that this gives and that is all about your fabric. It's so fun to do, so fun to have a picnic and throw this on the table. And I have the table mats, the place mats, done to match this particular quilt. But these are set in there in the in the book so that you can do an easy, easy place mat with super fun fabric for any of the projects. So any table runner or topper can have a matching set of place mats. Tea time was also uh, inspired by my mom. So she loves pink and she loves tea. And so I was looking for something that kind of was sparkly and would be beautiful on her table. And this is what I created with the little mini stars. And then we'll go back down here to the breakfast club, which is a star in a star in a star. <laughs> and this would also be great if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger with another border. You could make a baby quilt out of it. Uh, and it is called breakfast club. That is uh, something I wanted to, you know, sort of channel my in-laws who really loved meeting friends for breakfast every morning or coffee. And this is what I did to sort of remember them. The bigger quilt is called You Pick. And I love going to pick berries and apples in the season, going right out to the field. It is so fun. So these remind me of a berry basket. It's a great place to find some really unique prints and then take it out into this piano key border. Plus, add some fun polka dots. Got to add some polka dots. And over here is the French Bistro. Okay, I lived in Europe a long time and the bistros are a must visit. Uh, I wanted to use something a little bit different so I have very skinny strips and put these little bow ties in here to uh, create that fancy little ribbon along here. It's great for a long table runner. You can add just more blocks to it. Super fun so it would be a fantastic class. The purple and green quilt is called Family Gatherings. There is like an illusion that happens with the fabrics you pick. If you pick this sort of lighter print in here, then it gives this sort of shadow box in the middle. It's super effective. And in my quilt, I use the same piece of fabric for all of those blocks. 
So, uh, so fun. Now, the family gathering comes with a recipe. It is my mother-in-law's apple cake, Madge's apple cake. It is super, super yummy, you know, after you pick those fresh apples. <laughs> and so over here is uh, summer fun with the bluebirds. I had to add a little applique. So if you are a teacher uh, working from this book, you can add in a little a bit of applique class for your class, for your students. So that gives you a little variety on there. And of course, if you're allergic to applique, you can just make a fabric border on the ends. The game night has to be one of my favorites in the book. Okay, don't tell the others, but the Parcheesi board is inspired by a real Parcheesi board that my grandparents had. And game night is such a big thing for so many families and friends to do that I just had to include this. And if it needs to be a little bit bigger, you can, of course, just add a border on there loving the rhythm the ribbon and the color blocking that is so fun to do as a workshop and last is main street perks the braid is something i really enjoy doing and i love being able to write this up and tell you how to create braids easily and the table runner is such a perfect way to practice it's just you know strips but you get a chance to learn how to trim them and then you make a fun table runner with uh, lovely colors that work for your home. So here you go, there they are. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I hope you found four or five, 12 uh, table toppers that you would like to add to your home. I hope when you make them, you'll come over and share it with me at my community, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan on Facebook, and then come and join me on my YouTube channel, which is also my name, Pat Sloan. So this is a little peek at my Pat Sloan's Tantalizing Table Toppers with C&T Publishing. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you online.